We're gonna be getting what's up, internet? As you can tell, I did not just spit on my glasses. It's actually raining the fuck out this morning. Missed the first sale because I couldn't get fucking recording in time, but I picked up the Lux Edition Yahtzee for a dollar just because I had this as a kid, and these dice are pretty cool. And I'm a big fucking nerd, and I'm probably gonna use them for d and I'm not gonna lie to you. So, a whole bunch of our sales say rain or shine today, so we're hoping that's true. This first one happened to be in a garage, but no video games. Hoping to get rid of that bad luck from last week where we went zero for like 20 at garage sales and had to resort to going to stores and thrift stores. Let's go. Wouldn't happen to have any old video games for sale, would you? Oh my goodness. We just we brought them all, didn't we? We had, well, we had a whole bunch of Wii games at one time. Oh no, we just can't. Yeah. 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 All right. Are you having a sale too, or am I just awkwardly walking up to you? <laughs> we are. Okay. Oh. Just making sure. Anything you're looking for? Uh, you have any old video games for sale? I think so. I didn't. Old video games? Anything? No. Nope. Four sales down. No games. Rain is not letting up. We're gonna keep going on though. Video games? No. I had Atari a long time ago. I think my sister has it. Another strikeout. Makes me question how shitty some people's childhood must have been if they don't have any video game. He said the last game he, gaming system he had was an Atari. First off, Atari sucks. We all know that. You can try and deny it. It's true. But if that's all you had, fuck your life. Video games, yeah, we do. So we just walked away from that Xbox 360 controller, which is the only thing there that I was really looking for. <coughs> I don't really know anything about Castlevania Lords of Shadow for the 360. And the guy that was selling the controller was kind of a douche, so we just walked away. I offered him five, uh, he wanted five for I offered him three. And the way he rejected my offer was a little bit douchey, so... He can keep his fucking Xbox 360 controller. And the sticks were really run down on it. And it's probably one of those things where I was probably going to make like $3 on it. To be honest, trade value. So fuck it. So here we are, sitting in this lovely parking lot that is supposed to be housing the new flea market outdoors, given it's a little rainy. It's 7.38. As you can see, I'm driving around this parking lot with no regard for human life because there's no one here. There's no one here for me to run over, no one here for me to shop from. No one's wares for me to view. 
and they're supposed to be open in 20 minutes. So a little bit of rain and not even a guy here to collect, you know, to run the place to collect the vendor fees if someone did happen to show up. I'm gonna get some fucking breakfast. You hungry? She nods. She, 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 she like backs herself into a corner whenever I start these, like... <laughs> now she's like practically out the door because I'm adjusting this way. <laughs> See, like it's like I'm not. There's no one in the car. Look, look, no one in the car. Food. Ah. I do this all the time. No, you I don't. I do this all the time. It's super dangerous. This is what I'm doing. So, I'm wearing the team fat shirt again today, and the. Not even. I don't even know what he does at IHOP. He just kind of was standing there. He's just like, how the fuck do I get out of here? We're trapped. All right, we're still driving around this uh, this uh, parking lot for IHOP and Plaza Azteca. Can't get out. He thought the Team Fat Shirt might be a an, an acronym actually for for uh, <laughs> for Team Fairy Tale Animal Trainer. And I was just like, uh, nah, nah. Why is this a maze? <laughs> like, do I get something at the end of this? This doesn't fucking make sense. Let's go up to the it. I don't know. It's unfortunate. Oh, nice to have. Very dead today at the Wallingford Flea Market. Found the case and manual for Crash Team Racing, but no fucking game. And that's unfortunate because that's a really good game. Would not have minded picking that up for like a buck or two. On to the next flea market, I guess. Yeah, it's some, no. yeah, it's some nice one. Yeah, it's some nice one. Yeah. Victor, right there. <laughs> you lost. He's mad. He's salty about Matt, it. Matt is getting beat. <laughs> I beat almost. I beat you. Matt, you're letting her win? No. I, she, I beat her like twice. twice. But how, how you, I thought you were master in this, dude. I, I just said I beat her twice. Yeah, but you lost. Yeah, but, but you how lost. I lose. I just watched you lose. So me winning is me losing? Yeah. <laughs> Team Fairy Tale Animal Trainer in the house. So let's go over what we got this weekend. It was rainy, but oddly enough, we had better luck at the garage sales than we did last week. Um, a few items I got out and about. This was actually at an estate sale, which the only time I think it's worth going into those is during the uh, rain or maybe the winter. Got 007, everything or nothing. I don't really know too much about this game. Um, looks like it's kind of trying to relive what Goldeneye had accomplished on the N64. Paid $2 for it. And the only other sale I had that had video games stuff, they had some Xbox 360 games. This was actually a porch sale because of the rain. Uh, we were out there for way too long because they were trying to wake up their fucking son, who didn't want to wake up and give me any prices. So I offered them $5 a piece on their PlayStation 2s. No cords or controllers. Don't really need those. Um, this one came with a memory card and a uh, hard drive. No, so Hit up some thrift stores. Found 
Another magazine for me to read while I'm taking a hefty shit. Um, never actually read Dreamcast magazine back in the day. Didn't have a Dreamcast, but it's actually surprising because way back when, I used to be a spoiled kid who would always get a magazine wherever, whenever we went to a store. So it's actually a little bit surprising to me that I never dipped my toe into Dreamcast magazine. We found some decent PlayStation games at a Goodwill. This is one I don't go to very often, it's kind of out of the way. Uh, we've got Inspector Gadget. I guess it's not really a subtitle, but it's called uh, Gadget's Crazy Maze. In really nice condition, actually. Uh, we got Jurassic Park, or The Lost World Jurassic Park. I forgot that they mixed up the title on that one. <clears throat> With the cool little lenticular cover. And probably the best value find of the week, as far as like what I paid for them. For two bucks each, we got Spyro the Dragon and Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. And the greatest hits, so I'm not going to be holding on to them, but I'm going to test them out, make sure they work fine, and going to earn some of my money back. And definitely the finds of the week. have to thank Sam on this. Uh, one of them I traded for, the other one I bought outright. First one I bought out right, he just got it in yesterday. We got the Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest for the GameCube. Rarely ever see this around here, to be honest, unless you're at a retro game store and then it's like way overpriced. He gave me a really good deal on this. And I traded for complete in box Super Smash Brothers on the N64. It has a little bit of a crease here, but already came with a box protector so that's just gonna go right on my shelf very happy to have this I used to I'm not very good at Smash Brothers as I'm not very good at any games really except for NHL 94 world champion of NHL 94 BT dubs um, but I remember I used to play this so much I think it came out when we were in middle school I want to say and I used to daydream in class of playing Smash Brothers Usually, my daydreams are a little bit realistic where I would still be losing, but I'd just be able to close my eyes and imagine playing Link. And unfortunately, he's not a very competitive character, and I'm going to have to try and switch that up for Smash Brothers Wii U and on the 3DS, and I have to try and pick someone else. I'm hoping Pac-Man's good. Let me know who you're looking forward to playing as in the new Smash Brothers games coming out later this year. Or did they push the Wii U version back to the beginning of next year? I haven't really been paying too close attention. Oddly enough, the only games I'm really looking forward to that are coming out new, I think, this year, aside from Smash Bros. 3DS, probably be Madden and <laughs> NBA 2K15. Um, if I decide to get both, I'm, I'm kind of contemplating kind of contemplating whether or not I want to dip my toe back into Madden. I don't think I've played that game since... 09. Probably the last time Brett Favre was on the cover, actually. I think that was the last time, whatever year that was. 09, 08. Um, and it's basically a rage fest. And that's before I started playing people online. So let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. I think by the time you see this, hopefully there's still a little bit of time to enter my contest. It's actually going to be until the end of tomorrow, Monday. Um, then I'm going to probably be doing the drawing sometime during the week. And it's for two Game Boy Colors and a handful of Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, including Pokemon Blue. That saves. It saves! Yay! Um, please like the video, comment, go enter that contest if you have time. It does end tomorrow. And as always, keep it real, Infinite.